Okay, so at this point we have done power rule, chain rule, product rule, and the quotient rule. And these are the four main rules for finding derivatives. And when we look at these functions, we always have to choose the most appropriate method. So if I look at A, I have two choices in doing this one. I could do product rule, as is, or I could expand it out and then do power rule. And I think at this point in time, the easiest thing is going to be expand and then the power rule. If I do the product rule, I'm still going to have to simplify. Sorry, if I do the product rule, I still have to simplify at the end. So I can work at the beginning and do power rule, or I can product rule and work at the end. I think expanding first is easier this time. I expect you to try it. The next one here, my choices are quotient rule or simplify to the power rule. And again, I'm going to simplify and then do the power rule. Again, looking here, I have quotient rule. It's my only option, quotient rule. And then finally, I have this scenario here. And again, I'm going to simplify this by making it x over 4 minus 3x squared over 4 plus 1 quarter. And I'm going to take the derivative of that. Now, I, you should pause the video now and do the derivatives please. Check to see if your answers are correct. Okay, so here we have a scenario where we have undefined functions with various values and we're asked to find the derivative. So when I see this, this is two functions added together and I know the properties of this say that it's going to be f prime at 3 plus g prime at 3. I just have to add the derivatives together. So it's going to be negative 6 from here plus 5 which gives me negative 1. B part says I have a product of f and g. Well the derivative of, of f product g is going to be f prime g plus g prime f. So now using the notation with 3 it's going to be f prime at 3 g at 3 plus g prime at 3 f at 3. Plug in my values in, this is negative 6 times g at 3 is 2 times 2 plus g prime at 3 is 5 times f at 3 is 4 and so I get negative 12 plus 20 and that is 8. So this 8 means the slope of the tangent line of this multiplied function at x equal 3 is 8. That's a lot of words. This, this new function f times g, its slope of the tangent is 8 at when x is 3. Let's try c part now. Now I'm doing quotient rule. So the quotient rule says square the bottom, write it again, times the derivative of f minus the derivative of g times f of 3. Plug in the values in, I know this is 2 times negative 6 minus 5 times 4 over 2 squared which means I have negative 12 minus 20 is minus 32 over 4, which is negative 8. D part now. I have a derivative, or I sorry, I have a quotient and a subtraction of functions. So when I do that, I'm going to have to do the quotient rule. So I'm going to go f minus g at 3, and I'm going to take this value and square it, write this value again, times the derivative of f at 3 minus 
oh, I'm running out of space, minus f minus g prime at 3 times f of 3. All right, so the bottom is the same as f at 3 minus g at 3, and I square that. This is f at 3 minus g at 3, and I'm going to take that and multiply it by the derivative at 3, for f is negative 6, minus, well this is going to be f prime at 3, minus g prime at 3, times f at 3 is 4. Okay, so plug-in values in that I know. I know this is 4 minus 2 times negative 6 minus the derivative of 3 is negative 6 minus uh, the derivative of g is 5 times 4 over f at 3 is 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2 is 2 squared, so it's 2 squared. Continue, I get 4 minus 2 at 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 minus negative 11 times 4 is negative 44, so plus 44 over 4, which is 36 over 4, which happily is 9. Be careful when doing your general functions that you don't grab the wrong derivative or function. And finally, do e part? Well, here, this says product rule. So it's my first function x squared times the derivative of g of x plus 2x, which is the derivative of x squared, times just plain g of x. Now, I'm going to find this when x is 3. And this is the derivative. So plug it in 3, I get 3 squared times g prime at 3 plus 2 times 3 times g at 3. So 9 times 5 plus 6 times g at 3 is 2, which is 45 plus 12 is 57 is my slope.